Hi ladies, hi gents. Uh, I just want to share a quick video with you and um, this is for Natalia who is my Nashka here on YouTube and I will pop a link to her channel down below. She is a wonderful, wonderful lady and um, you should pop along and say hello to her. Um, I'm getting ready to send a parcel off to uh, Natalia and I want to show you, share with you the project that I've made for her. I found a small suitcase on eBay and it was very dark brown and the whole inside was bright bright purple. So I set about altering it and this is what I came up with. Okay. So this is the suitcase and um, what I did is I painted it cream all over. I slightly distressed the edges using, um, I think it was the Victorian Velvet Distress Ink. And um, actually, if I show you the back first, I used this um, paper and I just gave it a white wash and distressed the edges with the Victorian velvet. So that's the base of it. On the edges, I added just some simple lace all the way around here. And there. And I also done <clears throat> a small piece of uh, texture there on the side using texture paste. And then, so I've done it so that when it stands up, uh, the, the embellishments are the right way up. <laughs> so this is the front. I did lay some of the same paper that's this paper down first. I ripped this corner and put some texture paste underneath here. Um, I added this flower spray using pinks, creams and mint green and I distressed the flowers and sprayed them and um, I've added part of a lace doily underneath. So if I show you those. And I've added a bling here. Oh, there is an, also another bling in, in there. A fabric burlap leaf here. There's a tiny, tiny cherub in there. Um, and then one of my stick pins. I stamped this cameo image and then mounted it on paper and just tucked that behind the flowers. I've got this mint green lace running around in different directions and then I've added tiny cream trim on top of it. Um, down in this corner I've made a little tiny doily flower using three doilies and then the pearl centre. I've added fling swirls randomly around and then I've stamped a statement and a quote, sorry, and then mounted it um, onto some more of the paper and it says dreams are like stars, you may never touch them but if you follow them they will lead to your destiny. And um, I'm, qu I'm quite happy how the front of this turned out. It's a, there's quite a lot in it. Um, and I am quite pleased how it turned out. I've used lots of different types of um, wild orchid flowers. And I've also used some small fabric flowers in between 
Yeah, I, and I really hope she likes this. I really do. <laughs> and then on the inside, I in the lid I have um, padded the fabric in the top and made a little pocket here with lace. Eyelet lace here, and the same inside. If I take this out, inside the trays, I've used fabric and, and padded them. So I'm really happy how that turned out. And again, on the back of the tray, I have used that paper. Then in the base, I distressed it using the Victorian velvet around the outside and then again I have padded the base and I've used some seam binding here to hold the lid um, I'm really hoping that Natalia likes this um, for a small project I put quite quite a lot of work into it and I think it's paid off <laughs> um, I really hope you all like it and I would love to find some more of these small suitcases I really enjoyed altering this really enjoyed it and I really hope Natalia likes it. I really hope you do, Natalia. Um, okay, so thank you for watching and um, I'll just give you a close-up. Thank you all for watching and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye for now.